What is going on guys? Coach o here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. Like I said in my previous video, there is the coronavirus, which is kind of causing a little bit of a crisis with gym goers, okay? Forcing us to have to train out of our garage, our home, etc., closing a lot of gyms that we belong to. So if you haven't already checked out the first video I put out, which is a awesome body weight workout, we go through the warm up, the main workout, and then a cool down. For today, since I got a lot of requests on people having dumbbells and barbells, I put together a little bit of a longer workout where you can either use dumbbells or a barbell, and then we're gonna end with some conditioning. So we're gonna have a main strength piece, a little bit of hypertrophy or accessory work, and then conditioning uh, just to add on to the other video that I put out yesterday. So if you haven't, check that one out, and uh, let's get right on into it, guys. So for the warm up for this workout, I'm gonna redirect you back to the previous video and you can just repeat that warm up if you liked it and then start working with your barbell or your dumbbells into your working sets for the strength movement. But if there's something that you guys like to do and a certain ritual that you have to get warmed up, just hit that and just get right into it once you're feeling good. All right, so for the main strength portion of this workout, we're gonna do a strength complex. So all we're gonna do is take a couple of different movements that all together we will be feeling it throughout our entire body and then we'll rest after we complete all the movements. So first movement on tap is gonna be a power clean. This can be done with dumbbells or barbell and we're looking for five to eight reps. Now. I say five to eight just because I don't know what weight you guys have, but I want it to be between that range, um, maybe give or take, depending on how heavy or light you're going. The second movement from there is gonna be some sort of squat. You could do a front squat with your barbell, you could do a goblet squat if you have dumbbells, but we're looking for some sort of squat variation with the dumbbells or the barbell. After that, we're gonna do some sort of press variation. This is totally up to you. Five to eight reps, could be a strict press, could be a push press or some sort of jerk variation, but get a press in. Now, after we're done with those movements, I want you guys to do some sort of ab exercise. So that could be a plank for 30 to 60 seconds or leg raises anywhere from eight to 14, 15 reps or so. Now, like I had said, the rest period will come after you're done your ab exercise and rest anywhere from two to four minutes until you're feeling fully recovered and you can go back through the entire complex. We're looking to shoot anywhere for three to five rounds throughout this entire thing. So that is the goal of this main part. Okay, after we're done with that strength complex, we're gonna go into some accessory work. Now, this whole thing will be done three to four rounds, and our goal is to hit anywhere from eight to 10 reps per movement with the dumbbell or the barbell. So the first movement that we're gonna have on tap is gonna be some form of lunging. You could do lunges with a barbell on your back or in the front rack, or you can do just typical dumbbell lunges, holding them at your sides or upward in a front rack position as well. From there, we're gonna do a floor press. Now these can be done with dumbbells or a barbell. Um, just looking to make sure that we come all the way down and touch our arms to the ground. Press all the way up with full lockout, getting full range of motion. And the last one, we're gonna get our pull in there by doing some sort of row variation. These could just be dumbbell rows, barbell row, pen lay row, whatever you want, but we wanna get those rows in there. All of that will be done with eight to 10 reps. You can add a little bit more or maybe take away a little bit depending on the weights that you have available. So the last segment of this workout is gonna be our finisher, AKA conditioning. Now, what we wanna do is an AMREP style uh, conditioning session. So it's as many rounds as possible in the time allotted. For this workout, I'm gonna give you guys anywhere from 12 to 16 minutes, okay? So if you are a little unsure, go on the easier end of that spectrum. If you wanna push yourself a little bit harder, you can push yourself towards the end of that spectrum. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start off with one clean and press. Okay, that's gonna be a power clean and then a press variation. However you wanna press, totally up to you. From there, we're gonna go into one lateral burpee. That's gonna be over top of your barbell or over top of your dumbbell. So we're getting a little bit of motion in a different plane when we're jumping to the side. The last thing we're gonna do is gonna be a squat. So it could be any squat variation you pick, however you wanna do them, just get a squat in. That'll all be done for one rep each, okay? So one clean, one burpee, one squat. Once we're done that set, we're gonna do a 10 to 20 foot bear crawl. Now, if you don't have much space, just do a couple feet out and then reverse the crawl a couple feet back and you get for multiple sets um, or just down and back, whatever you're comfortable with. Once you're done that round, you're gonna add one rep to each of those movements, then it'll be two of everything, hit your bear crawl. Three of everything, hit your bear crawl. And you wanna get that as high as you can within that 12 to 16 minutes for the completion of the workout. So you guys have a little bit of a different setup here. We got our strength complex, we have our accessory work, and then we're ending with that finisher, AKA conditioning. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and you're making the best of the situation that you're in and we're still getting healthy. I do wanna note that 
if you are looking to build strength from these workouts, that may not necessarily happen, okay? Especially if you're more on the advanced spectrum uh, of someone in your training. This is just to keep you moving, get a sweat going, and just kind of clear up the boredom of being around your house all day while adding something positive into your routine while still trying to incorporate health as well. So. If you liked the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video so that everybody in this situation can come together. We can still keep our health a priority during these times. And I uh, just wanna say thank you guys for the support of the channel during this time. And if there's anything I can do, I'm trying to do my best, but just put a comment down below for some videos that you guys would like to see. Until then, stay Lean Mean Strike Machine. I'll catch you next time. Peace.